The Ghost of Tsushima sequel is finally upon us. With Sucker Punch seemingly already telling Ubisoft to hold their sake when it comes to the Japanese setting and history done right. They displayed a beautiful trailer with subtle details to what may be the overall feel and plot of the game. So without further ado, let's get right into some of the game's background, then the trailer teases. Ghost of Yote is the sequel to the overwhelmingly positively received Ghost of Tsushima that touched the hearts of everyone with its amazing story, character building, beautiful artistic environments, fights, and set pieces. That's not even touching on the fun gameplay that seems to transcend even the veterans of the genre, like Assassin's Creed. This time we're thrown in the midst of Hokkaido, Japan, where the Yote Mountain is actually located, and following in the story of our new protagonist, Atsu. And this story is taking place approximately 300 years after the events of Ghost of Tsushima. This will be Sucker Punch's first full game built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 platform, and they already promise to include new mechanics, gameplay improvements, and of course, new weapons. Sucker Punch is known for taking major inspiration of old Japanese movies, and was so heavily influenced in the first game by Kurosawa's work of art in cinema, that they even included a mode to play the game in, with his name to honor the inspiration that they drew from him. Throughout the breakdown and teases we'll be covering in the trailer itself, keep this in mind as I think they will not only keep up this motif of being inspired by classic Japanese cinema, but now with a different Wild West twist. The first thing I wanted to point out in the trailer was the wolf itself that's shown in the beginning. It's not confirmed or anything, but I believe this might be an overall replacement of our fox dens, and I think it'll actually turn into finding wolf dens here in the northern side of Japan in order to get gameplay enhancements and charms for Atsu. After this, one of the things I wanted to point out also was the wanted poster that we have right before Atsu kills apparently one of the people trying to hunt her for her bounty. This bounty poster roughly translates to the following. Wanted, 28 to 29 year old woman, rumored to have been witness in Yodazan, dead or alive, reward 100 Ryo. As a side note, Ryo was a currency used back in the day in Japan where depending on the era, one Ryo could feed a family for a whole month allegedly. This is also a rough translation, so make sure not to take it one for one. After the off-screen kill and the beautiful shooting star, we get Sucker Punch's logo revealed and right during this sequence, we get the guitar picking up in the background music, which is still carrying on the Japanese melody. This is where it really started to dawn on me that this could be more of a western outlaw type of take on the Ghost of Tsushima formula. For those of you that don't know, Old Spaghetti Westerns drew tons of inspiration from old Japanese films and in this trailer alone, it feels like a good mix of both already. With of course the music itself used in the trailer, the amazing looking horse scene, and of course, the bounty being placed on the main character. Going on to the wolf scene later on in the trailer with Atsu, we see here that Atsu is dual wielding. This in itself is already a big gameplay change, and with this, we can be pretty sure that we'll have more stances to switch between on the horizon as well. After this, we get the title shot for the sequel with the yellow flower in the middle, shown predominantly throughout the trailer. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe these petals come from the Ginkgo Biloba, which is also known as the Maidenhair Tree, which is said to have a lot of medicinal properties and is used in medicine, and can also be used to make the strings on the shamisen or the instrument on Atsu's back in the final shot. Because her instrument seems to be the shamisen and not the flute like Jin's, the background music will more than likely follow suit and use more songs that feature that instrument throughout the game. These aforementioned ginkgo biloba leaves turn that yellow color shown in the overall motif of the game and in Atsu's color scheme in the fall, where it seems at least a bit of this game will be taking place. Along with the yellow color itself, building even more along the yellow color motif itself, I would be remiss not to touch on the obvious connection that Atsu probably draws from yellow being the main color in the Kill Bill series. The Kill Bill series itself was also predominantly inspired by Female Prisoner Scorpion and Lady Snowblood, which are series from Japan that covered a heroine taking down enemies in a revenge plot story. 
This could mean something like an overarching revenge plot for Atsu could be in the works for Ghost of Yote story. Like maybe you're the last surviving member of an attack on your village and whatever faction did this to your people is now at the tail end of your hunt as the Ronin mentioned during the bounty poster segment. Then once you get a couple of less major people that caused the original attack on your people or village, they then set the bounty and it turns into you having to get them before they get you through the endless people chasing the bounty. So essentially, whatever faction did this is now hunting you through means of something a la John Wick, where they send the word out to anyone willing to attempt to get the riches through means of a kill contract ordered by whoever the new big bad is. I believe that the theory that I have about it being a revenge story overall can also be backed up even further by the title having what we assume is the Ginkgo Below belief slashed, as if this is her family, clan, or village's symbol or crest, it would represent that they were killed and she's the last survivor, and a reason as to why she wears the yellow outfit that she has, representing the yellow that's in the symbol. Some final things to mention is during the 2025 reveal time frame, which is even past the title reveal, we see flaming swords, something that looks akin to a Kasari which will more than likely be used to hit enemies at range while also giving an option to pull them in closer, and of course the final shot being Atsu using a musket before the reveal of a 2025 time frame for the game to release. As for what season we can expect the game to release, I would assume a fall or winter for 2025 release is in store for the game. And even though I think the game will most likely take place during fall and winter itself, I do think they should avoid the fall time frame and do winter instead, since the generational game GTA 6 is slated to be coming out at that time frame and it could stop a ton of sales if people are really into that game and it gets the glowing reviews and sales that we think it will. As of right now, we don't know if Atsu will have any direct ties to Jin except for the concept of being the ghost of a new era in Japan. It could be Atsu was just taking the inspiration from Jin's in-game mythos of a ghost fighting back against tyranny and crafting her own story around that legend but we won't know any more about that until more details are revealed. It's also possible the indigenous people of the area in that time frame could play a major role in the plot somehow, but again, we would have to wait and see if that's the case. Overall, I'm super excited for Ghost of Yote to get some more details revealed, and I'm going to finally make some time and try out Ghost of Tsushima for myself. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer, what you're looking forward to seeing the most of everything shown so far, and what you hope makes it into the game in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed or found it entertaining, make sure to scroll down and make that like button glow so we can reach the like goal of 25 likes for this video. While you're down there, consider subscribing as we'll be covering Ghost of Yote as updates come out, other AAA games throughout the year, hilarious content, and more. As always, your support through viewership, liking, and subscribing is always greatly appreciated and helps me out tremendously against the looming threat that is the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace!